Hey yo, it's Coily Diaries back with another video. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and like this video, share this video. And to my returning subscribers, to my returning subscribers, you know I love you guys. I am trying to get a bit of food in me before I start this detangling process. Girl, in this video, I'll be sharing with you guys how I dry detangle my natural hair. That's right dry detangling. Most videos claim to show you how to dry detangle natural hair but really they do spritz water which for me does not really qualify as dry detangling. So in this video I'm truly going to show you how to do this and I'm going to be sharing the benefits of dry detangling as well. Let me just get one more spoon in and we can get started. <laughs> In order to do my dry detangling well and with ease, I love to use olive oil. Olive oil is a sweet spot for me because it's not too thick and not too light. And it's also quite softening to the hair and it provides lubrication to my hair as well. So olive oil is an oil of choice. Go ahead and choose an oil that suits you, but I would recommend olive oil. I do have a little bit of gel cast on my hair. However, the oil should be able to help me loosen all that up and give me a good dry detangle. Usually my hair is not this shrunken and it's definitely not kept in such a state. However, just, you know, it just so happens that my hair is actually in this state. So what I'm doing is just trying to um, find my pre-parted parts, if you know what I mean. So I'm not making new parts in my hair. I am simply trying to find parts that are already in my hair and this is important because if you try to part your hair in this state when it's dry and shrunken it's a remedy for disaster this is a real remedy for breakage to take place so if you ever find yourself in this situation don't be shy you can use a little bit of water just to you know create a bit of flexibility and um just manageability i guess with the hair but i was able to sort of um find my parts and just you know section the hair so that I can dry detangle in sections if you know what I mean. Now for those that don't know I am a twisted natural which means that I usually wear my hair in mini twists so majority of the time my hair is in mini twists however this particular time I had my hair loose because I was washing it loose for the first time this year or maybe the second time actually um and therefore, you know, that's how come I find myself in this situation. And because of the glycerin, <laughs> the hair pretty much shrunk up and I couldn't get to it on the same day that I undid the twist. So it was a couple of days from the day I removed the twist. So the mini twist that I normally have. Anyway, guys, I managed to section my hair carefully and gently. And I just took my time. Guys, this is a very, very slow very slow process you have to be patient um, and then what I'm going to go ahead and do is put the rest of the hair away and start working on the front section so before I start dry detangling my hair I go ahead and apply a good amount of olive oil to the hair that is from the roots to the ends and it's important to note that um, I am applying a good amount of oil but it's not extreme amounts okay so I'm not going overboard I'm just wanting to apply a little bit of oil to add lubrication and a bit of slip to the hair before I dry detangle. I start at the roots, which is contrary to your normal detangling methods. Like if you're gonna use lots of conditioners or what have you, um, you usually start at the ends, right? For dry detangling, I find that starting at the roots is better. And what I do is remove shed hairs by simply running my, um, my hands through the hair, gently separating the hair from the roots to the tips and just allowing for um, the hair to, like it pretty much detangles itself once you start encouraging it from the roots to separate from whatever curl um, that the hair was in. So here you can see that the oil has made it quite um, easy for me to separate the hair from the roots and I can sort of run my finger all the way to the ends of the hair. Olive oil, guys, has worked the best for this method for me. It's a penetrative oil, so I guess it does sip through the hair a little bit and softens the hair 
while still adding lubrication to the outer layer of the hair as well. So that's pretty much the process guys. I will keep showing you this exact same process throughout the video for you guys to get a hang of it. But it's pretty much add oil, separate the hair starting from the roots all the way to the end, um, the ends of the hair, removing shed hair, smoothing the hair and then pinning or twisting the hair up and putting it away. There's three things that I just want you to be aware of as you um, learn how to dry detangle. The first thing is that the purpose of dry detangling is really to remove shed hairs and to remove major knots and tangles that might be in the hair. Um, it's not going to be a super thorough detangle, okay? So this is what I do um, in order to dry detangle my hair. I don't go in there to thoroughly get like a you know a super detangled section because you know that will be here all day um the other thing that i just want to point out is that guys the only time that i do this is when my hair is very well and truly moisturized this will not work on dry hair this will not work on hair that does not have enough product already as in leave-in conditioners and your sealant for me it's castor oil so my hair is very soft already it's very um manageable and flexible already as i am you know trying to uh, uh, dry detangle it i would imagine it would be way more difficult and it probably will cause you you know damage and problems if you try to do it on dry hair so if your hair is not moisturized soft flexible all those things go ahead and just use some water or leave-in conditioner and opt for wet detangling instead the other thing that i just want to point out is that the hair should be stretched um if you're gonna dry detangle so it's best to do this on already stretched hair my hair was not stretched as you saw at the beginning of the video it was shrunken um prior from prior to me starting this process but um i know my hair and i know the reason it was like that was simply because of the the glycerin not because it was matted or just you know fully shrunken and dry it's just because glycerin just tends to make your hair shrink if it's loose if you've used it you know what i mean so make sure your hair is well moisturized make sure your hair is stretched and make sure you understand that you're not attempting to get a thorough detangle you're simply removing shed hairs and removing major tangles before going ahead to detangle your hair more thoroughly with say a detangler or you know whatever deep conditioner rinse out conditioner etc i would encourage you to go ahead and check out my moisturizing videos if you haven't because that will give you an idea of how i moisturize my hair effectively in order to get the lubrication the softness and just long-term moisture in my hair because for me i found that i was not able to dry detangle my hair when just you know when i used to just um, moisturize my hair the traditional normal way um, when i found my habits and tricks and products that work for me and my hair was well and truly moisturized that really made dry detangling a breeze so check those videos out in case you're struggling with just moisturizing your hair well Another thing that I just want to say is that you can go ahead and use a brush to detangle your hair when it's dry. Yes, I mean that like dry detangling. You can do this and I will show you guys that side of dry detangling in a different video, which will probably be titled how I prep my hair for a long term protective style. In that video, I actually do brush my hair with a I think I believe it was a pebble brush It was a detangling brush and it worked very, very, very well. My hair was soft. My hair was easy to brush and it was 100 percent dry as in no moisture in the hair. So look out for that video so that you can see how to do it safely if you want to go ahead and brush your hair um, or, you know, detangle your hair with tools while it's dry. And I know there are instances where we do need to do this, particularly if you're not going to um, blow dry your hair for a protective style and you want a heatless stretch that's probably you know a good reason for you to try you know learn how to detangle your hair when it's dry to do it well so that you don't encounter breakage
Now, I've already done a video talking about the benefits and disadvantage of dry and wet detangling. And I'll put a link to that video above if you want a more detailed explanation as to why this uh, type of detangling is beneficial. However, I'm going to share in this video three benefits of detangling your hair dry. The first one just being that your hair is in a state of strength. So the hair is strongest when it's dry. When you wet your hair, once you add water to your hair, the hair becomes weaker and therefore weaker hair tends to break easier than stronger hair, of course. So um, dry hair is actually stronger and can withstand more manipulation or tension uh, a little bit more as compared to uh, wet hair or damp hair. So that's reason number one. The second reason is that dry hair has got a closed cuticle. Most likely once your hair is dry, the cuticle would have dried down and the cuticle would have laid flat, which means that the hair can glide against each other easier. It may not feel like it because you don't have the usual slip, you know, from your conditioners. However, you know, the, the what can I say, the friction between the hair strands is actually less because the cuticle is closed. The other advantage of detangling your hair uh, dry is that you can actually hear the hair snap. If you were to break the hair or if you were a bit rough with your hair, you would definitely hear it. It's more audible when the hair is dry so you're more aware of you know how you're dealing with your hair and you know the amount of tension that you're applying you know you're more gentle you're forced to be more gentle because the <laughs> the sound of breaking hair is not a nice sound to listen to especially you know when it's repeated right so you will well and truly know when your hair is breaking with wet hair it's less audible if at all so you could very well be breaking your hair and not be not even be aware of it if so to speak of course i'm not trying to say that when you detangle your hair dry you break your hair more hence that's why you hear it i'm just saying that um when you're dealing with your hair dry, you're forced to be careful because you can hear it. And the hair is generally less flexible and has less elasticity when compared to wet hair. So you're forced to be careful. Um, and in that sense, you can actually prevent a lot of breakage and damage when detangling your hair dry. Well, I hope this video helped someone out there. Be sure to comment below and like this video. I'll see you in the next one.